morning, Genesis Project family. Yes, so this is travel day number two. Number two, we're in New York City um, at the TWA Hotel in JFK Airport out on Long Island. Right, only because we have a very long layover. Yeah, we had a 26 hour layover and it's a real good thing we do. The reason being, when we got in last night, our plane was delayed getting in. It was delayed getting out of Grenada. Mm -hmm. So now um, so we would have, com yeah, we would have completely missed mm -hmm. our, um, our, our flight. flight if we had booked it just yeah. back to back. And it wasn't just like about 15 minutes um, delayed. No. It was like about close to two hours delay from the original time yeah. from leaving. So we got here very uh, much later than expected, but it was all good. Yeah, no um, problems. I while, mean, while boarding the plane, we did see what looked like a flashbang or duct tape. It looked like they were duct taping the top of the, of the engine, I kid you not. blue, yeah. And I wanted to take take a photo of it, and I showed my friend, Lenny, who was, who was traveling with us to New York, and she was like, oh my gosh, why did you tell me that? So, you know, <laughs> we prayed extra hard and diligently to um, arrive safely and maybe it was, it was not really though. duct tape i don't know but it did kind of look like flash ban or duct tape it didn't look like that but i am no mechanic and they did say how they had technical difficulties which did not make our heart any um you know what confident. you know this isn't about that anyway so but hey <laughs> it was the it was a smooth ride mm -hmm. um no problems it's about five hour flight um from grenada you know, direct to New York City. So we're uh, we're sitting here uh, waiting for our next flight, which will be to Doha, Quetta. Yes, yes. And uh, we, it'll be a red eye flight. So we actually we leave here at 8:25 p.m. and uh, fly to Doha. Doha. Yes, yes. And then we'll be getting in Botswana on the 22nd. So it's a few days of traveling, but nevertheless, we're still excited. Um, yep, absolutely. It had a really cool scene in, in the lobby there by a lady, I think, named Mary. I did take a picture of it that talked about kindness. And it is important that we live our life, you know, not just for ourselves, but to mm -hmm. show kindness and love to others. Absolutely. Um, if we're not doing that, what are we doing? Right. It makes no sense. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're, a whole lot to it. Yeah, so we are we are excited. We um, have a late checkout, so then we will be going to catch our, our flight. Mm -hmm. But um, we just chilling and relaxing because it is I'm officially on vacation as of Friday, last Friday. Yes. So it is good to be on vacation and just not having to do anything. But I've been waking up like four o'clock in the morning, can't sleep. Not because I'm worried or super excited or anything like that. It's just I don't know. I don't know. I'm still waiting for all of this to hit me, to be honest with you, um, because I know how I get, I get really excited in certain things, so uh, I'm waiting for the nostalgia to really just sweep me off my feet, essentially. <laughs> yes, yes, and we did get some new t-shirts, Clip yeah. is wearing one of them now, Clip will have to stand this because There we go. Yeah, and when you look at the back, turn around, Bugs, yeah, that's it. Okay, you see? Okay. <laughs> it's good. Got yeah, it. All which, right. is, which is hashtag here I am send me. Um, and, and the script is from taken from Isaiah 6-8. And my t-shirt is the long sleeve version with Isaiah 6-8 um, in the back also. So yeah, um, we are excited. We just wanted to give you a quick update. And um, we'll see you in the next video when we get to Botswana. All right.
let's discuss about our meeting with Hagiso. That was our first meeting in person. Yes. Hagiso is a very, very wonderful lady that has been working the Nyang Association for many years and has really kind of the backbone behind this project, uh, getting things going for these children. She has been working hand in hand with them for, for so long. Yes, for a very long time. And um, not only that, for us even um, coming to Botswana, she had put a lot of things in place, you know, tried to get time off from her vacation, even when she's working and she's on the road, you know, sometimes 12 p.m. their time, you know, in Botswana, um, because it's a six hour different from Grenada to Botswana. She would always um, try to be on top of things, send us messages, keep us informed, you know, us have meetings, even though we have that time difference, you know, so it was awesome to finally meet her in person. and. You know, I am pleasantly surprised. One of the things that I've been praying for is godly partnership. And I think that, you know, God really put us together for this reason and for this season. Amen. Now, Botswana <clears throat> is amazing. It's an amazing country. It's full of beautiful trees. It's very, so very similar to the Caribbean. Um, it's the, uh, the vegetation. Um, it's flat and what we would consider maybe high desert. The elevation here is about 4,000 feet above sea level. And um, you have some of these rocks that just boulders that just come out of the ground. A big pile of them here and a pile of them there. I haven't seen anything like that. Right. But pretty, pretty interesting. I loved it. Um, until I told Cliff, it's like God took a crane and just place them. Well, not a crane, but his hands and just place them. It's like a huge pile of rocks just piled on top of each other. And I'm talking about like big boulders. You know, it is not just a hill, you know, mixed with dirt and whatever. It's just boulders, just piled together in the middle of nowhere. And you know that it didn't, it, no crane, no, that was not man-made. That no. was God-made. Absolutely not. Um, And the humidity, it, it seemed like it had no humidity here, right? Right, it is very dry. Um, and, it, uh, and it's very hot this time of year. So we're accustomed, you know, in the Caribbean to having, you know, warm Christmas. But we're talking Christmas was hot and dry here. So it was 95 degrees and um, almost no humidity, it felt like. Yeah. And, you know, even though Cliff said, you know, some of the vegetation kind of looked the same, I don't, yes and no, because we have a lot of grass, like wild grass. Here it don't have any, you know, it is more, as Cliff said, kind of deserty. So it more have those type of plants or trees that you would find in a desert. Yes, and there's a lot of sand. Shrub. Yeah, yeah, and a lot, a lot of sand. A lot sand. of sand. And uh, we will be working in a lot of sand this, this coming week. So. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, well, welcome to Botswana, Portia and Cliff. You're now home. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, home. you're yes. home. Yeah. Aww. In good hands. Yes, yeah. the perfect hands. <laughs> it's Gahiso from Nayang Association. Guess who I'm with? Um, Portia and Cliff from the Genesis Foundation. They came all the way from Grenada, guys. They're finally here. Uh, we're also with uh, Mamuruti, our mother. Um, the owner of uh, Lamudimo Charity. We are here to build her a home. Aww. Her and her kids. Yes. Uh, so Mamruti has taken in 60 or so kids over the years, uh, fed them, taken care of them at her home, together with Ramruti and some um, members of the community, right? And um, now Arlene and Cliff are here to build a home for those kids. I mean, yeah. guys, look. There's a whole plot. This is this is uh, the beginning of everything. Uh, we are at the genesis, right? Genesis yes. of everything. Yes. Um, um, so what does this name stand for again? Lamudimo means uh, the, the love, love of, of God. God. Ah, the yeah. love of God charity yeah. center. So just you know, keep uh, keep watching this space because this is about to transform. Amen. 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 Of oh, Jesus name. Hi, guys. <laughs> Mamruti, are you happy? I'm so happy. Why are you happy? Because now the kids are going to have accommodation. 
Yes. Right. Yeah. What do you want to say to these lovely people? I want to say, you people, God bless you. Mm -hmm. We love you. Oh. Mm. Yes. And, and you'll be having a good time tomorrow, which is Christmas Day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We are going to enjoy. Yeah. With the kids, there'll be food, they'll be playing, and they'll finally get to because they love kids. They're just amazing. Amazing people who love kids. Wonderful. That's why they came all this way. Amurti, two days of traveling. Wow. Two days of two traveling. Days of traveling. Yeah, in the because air. of the love of God. Hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's the reason. <laughs> the love of God. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So, next step is building this. Getting in here. The goats uh, have already the key, arrived. But what we'll the do? Oh, I'm looking forward to getting in here. Yeah. Getting Caterpillar. Mm -hmm. That's they call it a caterpillar, as yeah. we know. Um, some yeah, yeah, excavation yeah. or some yeah. an excavator yeah. or uh, maybe a, a backhoe. All right. First of all, hi, my name is Gahenso. Uh Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, and you're talking so soft. Um, this is where the kids um, have to come and do their homework or study. Okay, so you're saying here is just the where the kids do their homework and study? Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, as you can see, where else can they do it? Okay. Right? Because the school is just over there. Mm -hmm. so the school. Actually, this picture moved. It was, it used to be on the other side, I guess. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it was facing the sun. So, we, mm. so we want, we, now we want... A proper place. Sorry, a proper place for them to, to study. Um, or hang out and do whatever kids do. Um, now I'm moving to the kitchen. Yes, it's a kitchen. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's it. Oh, there's Doggy over there. Hello. And the kitchen is a big issue. Oh wow! Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is the kitchen. Huge pots, though. Those are the pots that they use to cook on a daily basis. Okay. Or when there is food to cook. Wow. So kitchen is definitely a necessity. Mhm. Mm I think that's going to keep the water Yeah, it looks so. Yeah, because there's a huge mm -hmm. water problem in Nancy Yeah, It was a two days without water. Wow. This is why I think one of the companies, Marianne Others, they donated that. Oh, wow, tank. tank. So, um, so where do the kids normally sleep? In that trailer. Uh -huh. And this side here? as well. And then um, they've asked for they've asked their neighbors okay. as well, taking some of the kids. Which we said, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. literally is not ideal because yep. human beings are human beings. Yep. So, what we did well, was it last year? Okay. What is this build at this? Yeah. Um, when we came here, there was only that toilet. Toilet, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we picked the tree. So, uh, we found those guys, uh, we checked their content mm -hmm. from Zimbabwe who are living in Botswana. And they sponsored this. Most of it. Yes, it's locked. Yes, it is. 
So this is for Sua? Is that for Sua? Yeah. In the meantime, they can take me. Yeah, how we step over back? I love you. Molly, Nelly, the matter, and Brenna Jesus Christ together. Amen. So please like and subscribe. And comment down below your thoughts and feelings on continue following us in this journey called life. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Um, we ask that you just uh, continue to pray and that uh, God continues to work in amazing ways through us and to us. Bye. Bye. Tenso. Thank you.